Ian MacDonald or the Puncredible Hulk. I was trying to convince a friend of mine that cucumber was the main ingredient in guacamole. I was just playing devil's avocado. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I'll have to do batter. <laughs> I ordered a curry, but it took forever for it to be delivered to me. By the time I got it, it was gel freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I'm in my Spanish house, it's my duty to cook all of the dinner in one dish. It's my casserole. Oh. My grandmother is so cautious about wetting herself. What she does is put an Indian flatbread under her cushion. She's my pish waiting aunt. <laughs> Jesus, I'm leaking granny. <laughs> oh, God. I was out to dinner in Spain and every one of my friends ordered huge meals. But I didn't really fancy one. So when they offered me one, well, I just had to pass. <laughs> I love spicy food, but I can't handle it when it falls on the back of my foot. It's my Achilles heel. <laughs> Okay, okay, this can, this, that's good. That's good. That <laughs> well, you're laughing at least. Yeah, that's the idea. Right. I really couldn't make up my mind whether to take my liver, my heart, or my spleen to a royal wedding. In the end, I just went with my gut. Oh! When Henry VIII was a young prince, he wanted to marry someone that could cook well. So he married Catherine of Tarragon. And then, of course, Anne of Cloves. <laughs> How did Henry VIII's third wife know she wouldn't be the last? Because she could Jane Seymour coming. <laughs> After Henry VIII went through five marriages, you'd think that number six would just be Catherine Parr for the course. Hey. <laughs> They're all Henry VIII. <laughs> all right, I'll be heading off now then. <laughs> oh, it's the... Uh... When Henry VIII, surprise, surprise. Oh, well, I can't wait to hear this one. Come on, I'm executing them well. Oh. When Henry VIII was married to his first wife, he was obsessed with sports. Boxing, polo, football. Oh yeah, and bowling. Oh. <laughs> I like my women like my generalizations. By and large. <laughs> the other day I saw a tissue fondling a crumpet. You might need to say that again. It was just a bit of hanky pancake. <laughs> well, my wife's recently left me because I've got a pasta touching fetish. I'm feeling kind of lonely right now. Oh! <laughs> Very close. There's been a debate recently about whether unmarried prisoners should be allowed conjugal visits while they serve their sentence from hookers. You can sort of see both sides of it, really. Lots of pros and cons. Oh! <laughs> there was a premature ejaculator that was in intensive care. <laughs> Don't care what the ending is. <laughs> well, apparently it was touch and go. Oh! One of oh. my hobbies is to change fast-growing herbs in the garden, their colour. Sorry, I digress. And um, we're doing jokes <laughs> on environment. <Yeah. laughs> I moved out of the biggest city in Austria to the second biggest city because of pollution. Turns out the Gratz is greener on the other side. Oh, ho, ho, ho. When flowers go to vote, they go to the pollen station. Incredible. To reduce my carbon footprint, um, I share a car when I'm going to work. 
but it just becomes a problem when I go under an underpass, my hand gets really sort of tingly. It's carpool tunnel syndrome. <laughs> oh. Did you hear about the archaeologists' party when they were only looking for lower leg remains? Oh, it's a shindig. <laughs> <laughs>